naman, eh, gawin natin yung mga steps in performing hypothesis testing sa ating population mean. Yung step 1 natin is to write your hypotheses, which is yung H null and H alternative. At saka make sure na isinusulat nyo rin yung parameter na ginagamit natin dito sa hypothesis nas natin. So in this case, since population mean yung tinetest natin, kailangan alam natin yung population mean na tinutukoy doon sa given word problem. Now, yung second step, which is one of the most important steps doon sa hypothesis testing, is the condition. So, yung conditions natin will be one, random ba yung sample na ginagamit sa word problem, yung population ba eh, normal, o sinabing normal doon sa word problem na sinasagotan natin, at kung siya ay independence, wherein yung uh, sample size natin is... Um, or yung population natin is mas malaki ng sampung beses doon sa ating sample size. Now, yung third step natin is yung calculation na, ng ating test statistic. Now, mag-iiba yung ating mga test statistic basis sa given standard deviation ng population at base rin sa parameter na ginagamit natin. So, general form ng ating calculation or formula in finding the test statistic ng hypothesis testing is statistic minus parameter all over the standard deviation of the statistic. At yung step number four is yung pagkuha ng ating p-value na isa sa p na mahalagang mahalaga kasi ito yung number o numerical value na gagamitin natin para makapag-decide tayo kung i -re reject natin or hindi natin i -re reject yung ating null hypothesis. At yung panglimang step will be our conclusion. So, kailangan sa pagsulat nyo ng conclusion, you always write it in the context of the problem. So, dalawa lang naman yung uh, ating uh, pwedeng maging conclusion. One is to not reject the null hypothesis. At yung pangalawa is to reject the null hypothesis. Now, ang p-value, by definition, or formal definition of p-value, is the probability that if the h-null, or the null hypothesis, were true, sampling variation would produce an estimate that is further away from the hypothesized value than our data estimate. Now, masyadong komplikado yung uh, definition, pero ang sinasabi lang niya na yung p-value natin is sabihin nating uh, um, numerical value or probability value na kailangan nating hanapin para matulungan tayo kung paano magde-decide kung i -re reject ba natin or hindi natin i -re reject yung ating null hypothesis which is always assumed to be true. So the p-value is the probability of getting the result we expect if the null hypothesis is true. Now, there are three um, types of significance level or yung uh, significance level na willing natin gamitin para ma-prove natin kung i-reject natin or hindi natin i-reject yung ating null hypothesis. Pwede tayong gumamit ng alpha of 0.10, alpha of 0.05, or alpha at 0.01. So ito yung mga values na gagamitin natin to compare our p-value against to para makita natin kung talagang significantly lower or mababa yung ating p-value para sa ating um, significance test. At gagamitin natin to later on sa ating first example. As ito yung ating first example in performing hypothesis testing for population mean. The Survey of Study Habits and Attitudes, which is SSHA, is a psychological test that measures students' attitudes towards studying. Now, the score in this survey ranges from 0 through 200. The mean score of United States college students is about 115, and the standard deviation is 30. Now, Monica suspects that older students have better attitudes towards school. So she randomly selects 25 students at, at her college who are at least 30 years old and gave them the SSHA. Now, her test result has given her a mean score of 118.6 points. Now, let's assume that the population mean score is normally distributed. Let's try to carry out, or let's carry out a significance test for this particular word problem at alpha equal to 0.05. So, titignan natin kung yung ating uh, testing would result to uh, uh, not rejecting or rejecting the null hypothesis base dito sa ating word problem. So yung step one natin is to write our hypotheses. At yung hypotheses natin, ang parameter na gagamitin natin dito is yung population mean, which is the mean SSHA score of older college students, which is given by 
115. So yung ating null hypothesis will be mu is equal to 115 points. At yung alternative hypothesis natin will be mu greater than 115 points. And in the context of the problem, the null hypothesis is basically, basically believing that the true population mean score ng SSHA is 115 points. At yung alternative natin, is higher daw yung 115 points doon sa nakuha nating um, sample. So, this is our hypothesis. Now, on second step will be uh, writing out our conditions. Conditions on normality, on independence, and doon sa randomness ng ating uh, sample. So, ito yung ating first step, yung ating alternative at saka yung null hypothesis. Yung second step natin, sinabi dun sa word problem na yung ating sample is randomly selected, yung population is normal, at yung sample natin is independent. So, nasatisfy yung tatlong conditions. Now, we're moving on to step number three, which is yung calculation. And in our calculation, we need our population mean, our sample mean, and our population standard deviation, which is given in the problem. So, yung sample size of 25 students is also needed para sa pagkuha ng ating calculation para sa Z value. So, ito yung ating test statistic na gagamitin or yung uh, value na gagamitin natin to decide whether the null will be rejected or not. So yung z is equal to the sample mean minus the population mean all over the population standard deviation all over the square root of n. Now it's 118.6 minus 115 all over 30 divided by the square root of 25, and using your calculator, it will give you a z value of 0.6. So, ito yung ating z value or test statistic na gagamitin para mahanap natin yung ating p value na magde decide or matutulungan tayo mag decide kung ire reject ba natin or hindi natin ire reject yung null hypothesis. Now, based on our normal distribution, yung ating p value of z greater than 0.6 using your calculator or yung in yung z table sa inyong statistics book will give you 0.2743. At ito yung p-value na tinatawag na ating gagamitin para i-compare kung greater than or less than siya sa 0.05. So itong 0.05 natin, ito yung alpha na tinatawag wherein ito yung significance level na gagamitin natin to compare our p-value para mahanap natin kung uh, or makatulong sa atin para mag reject or hindi mag-reject ng null hypothesis. Now, obviously, yung 0.2743 is greater than 0.05. So therefore, ang basic rule is if your null hypothesis is small, you reject the null. Now, na-prove natin na maliit yung at or hindi maliit yung ating p-value kasi mas malaki siya sa 0.05. Therefore, yung conclusion natin will be to re not reject or do not reject the null hypothesis because since the p-value is 0.2743, which is greater than alpha of 0.05, Monica is a strong evidence not to reject the null hypothesis and therefore, the true mean SSHA score for the U.S. college student is indeed 115 points. So, yan yung mga steps na ginagamit natin sa pag-compute or sa pag-conduct uh, uh, ng hypothesis testing for the population mean in inferential statistics.